right, so here we are in Silhouette Studio. So we need to import two things to create our mock-up in Silhouette Studio. So first thing that we need to import is our design itself. And the second thing we need to import is the actual mock-up. So I have already downloaded the mock-ups and the um, designs. These are both, of course, from the SoFancy Mix and Match bundle. So they come in in zip files. They will be downloaded as zip files, and we have a couple here, so let's see. Now, here is the mock-up itself. When I have this open, this is just in my Finder window, I'm going to simply drag and drop this into Silhouette Studio. Now, it comes in extremely large, and that's because it's a high-resolution photo. So when we select it, we can see it's 41 inches wide by 28 inches almost um, high. So we can size that by just simply using the corner grid and sizing that. Now the next thing that we want to do is we want to bring in the design itself. Okay. So all you have to do is the exact same thing. You're going to have unzipped it and you can open that file and then you can use any of the file types that you want. So for a mock-up, you can use the JPEG, the PNG, or the SVG. It's really um, up to you. But we are going to drag and drop that also into Silhouette Studio. Now, in this case, um, this looks like this design. I'm going to zoom back in a little bit so you can see here. This design is all set up. It works really well with this mock-up because they are both a um, landscape or you know horizontally oriented design. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this entire design and I'm going to group it. I, you might not need to do this for every single design, but to keep everything together. And then I'm simply going to pull it into position. So you can see it is now on top of the mock-up itself, and I'm going to now size this so that appropriate so that it appropriately fits on my mock-up. Now I'm going to zoom in again so you can see a little bit better. And what I can see is that it's not quite centered. So let's just center the design itself. You can move either the mock-up or the design, it doesn't really matter. Um, but what you're going to do is just make sure that it's in position. Now, if you have a design that is a little bit more bold than this, this one is not such a big deal, but I always would recommend um, that you pull the transparency down a little bit. Not of the image itself, but just of the SVG or JPEG, whichever one you brought in. So you're going to do that by opening the fill color panel over here on the right hand side and only with the design selected. You don't want the mock-up image selected itself. Just pull the transparency down to about um, 10 or 11. Okay, so that's typically pretty good. Oops, not 100. And what that's going to do is just make it look a little bit more realistic, okay? Now, what we have, if we go back out a little bit, so let's say we are selling this sign itself, the, dig the physical product of this sign. We want people to focus on that. And while it looks really nice, all, you know, with our whole staged photo here, professionally staged photo, we, we really want the emphasis to be on this um, sign itself. So I'm going to crop this a little bit. You don't want to crop the actual sign, but you want to crop the actual image. So in Silhouette Studio, you can just double click and you'll get the edit points. Now for a rectangular photo, like a mock-up would be, you're only going to have four edit points. You can select two of them at the same time. So I just click that top one, hold down shift and click the um, bottom one. And now I can hold shift and use my arrow keys and pull my photo in slightly. So you see what I'm doing? I'm just removing some of that um, kind of excess space. I want to make sure that I do that though on all sides. So in this case, we're going to do it again along the top. I'm going to now use the down arrow key. Okay, I want to leave some of the beautiful photo that is here, but I don't need so much of it because I really want the um, eye to focus on the on this um, sign itself. All right, and don't be afraid to go back and re, you know if you did too much or too little, you can adjust. So if you bring this down like this and you think you know what I actually did too much you're able to actually tab back up and expose more of the photo, all right? So I'm gonna leave it like this. I might even crop it in a little bit more on the right-hand side. 
Um, but it's really a judgment call on for, you know, however you want to do it. So now you're selling this design, this, this sign itself. You need to get this photo out of Silhouette Studio and put it on your website or on your Facebook page or on your Instagram page so that you can tell people, hey, I have this sign available. My number one rule before you do that is to make sure that you actually know how to make this sign. It's wonderful if you know how to make mock-ups, you need to make sure you know how to make the actual product too. So assuming that you know how to do all of that. Now, there's two ways that you can export this. If you have, if you're just using the free version of Silhouette Studio, you're going to need to take a screen grab. So if you're making regular, routinely making mock-ups in Silhouette Studio, I would not recommend this version. But for a one-off, it will work. So you're just gonna do a screen grab. However you take screen grabs on your Mac or PC, I'm on a Mac, um, and I can take a screen grab by clicking Command, Shift, and uh, 4, and then, you know, cropping that out. So that leaves me with a mock-up photo on my desktop, okay? It's a beautiful photo that now I can upload to Facebook or wherever I want to put that to show people, hey, here's you know this sign, you can purchase this sign from me for $25 or whatever your price may be. If you are, if you have um, business edition of Silhouette Studio, which as you know is a one-time uh, purchase, you are able to export this in a higher resolution than what a screen grab would give you. So you're going to take your mouse and you're going to select everything, the photo and the, the design itself, so that everything is selected. And then from Silhouette Studio, you're going to go up and you're going to do File, Save Selection, Save to Hard Drive, and you're going to save this as a JPEG or a PNG. Okay, so these options, JPEG and PNG, are only available if you have business edition or higher, okay? So then we can call this menu board. It's going to ask us, what DPI do you want? That is the dots per inch, and the higher the number, the better the resolution. So I would recommend you change that to 300 and just click save, and that design has now been saved also to your desktop, okay, or your downloads, wherever you told it you wanted it to save. So ours is right here. Nope, that's not it, it's this one. Menu board, okay, so there it is. You can see this opened up much larger than the screen grab that we took because we saved it at a higher resolution and we were able to tell it just save this as a JPEG, okay? So that is very quickly how you make mock-ups in Silhouette Studio. Okay, so let's say you want to tell people, you know, you have two options for boards, uh, wooden signs that you are offering. Not only do you offer weekly menu, but you also offer another option for um, a schedule. So you can pull that design in and repeat the exact same process. Again, in this case, because these designs are all um, ungrouped, we wanna start by grouping them uh, to allow us to much more easily manipulate them, all right? And then you are just going to repeat the same process that we just did where you are resizing your design and exporting it. I'll zoom in a bit so you can see. And in this case, you could tell people, you know, I also offer as an alternative weekly schedules. So whether you are selling the digital design of weekly schedules, which you are not because you purchased this digital design from So Fancy, um, but if you are a sign maker, you have this option. Now let's say you don't want to offer this weekly schedule um, with black vinyl. Let's say you want to offer it with blue. You can select the design itself and again from the fill color panel you can come over here and you can change the color. So now let's say you're going to offer it with blue vinyl or whatever the case may be, gray. You know, you can change that color and this is going to allow you to again save the design so file, save selection, save to hard drive, weekly, schedule, gray. Change this to JPEG and 300 DPI. Okay, and now you can give that option, but you wanna tell people that you also have it in black. So you simply change the color, save it again, and this way, now you have quickly, very, very quickly created two mock-ups with the exact same design 
and the exact same mock-up and you have done it extremely fast and efficient and with a beautiful photo all in Silhouette Studio and you're able to export. And so you saw just how very quickly we were able to make all three of those photos. So we've got uh, the weekly schedule in black, we have the weekly schedule in gray, and you could ask you know, your social media followers, which do you prefer? Do you want gray or black? Hey, guess what? I can take custom options. Here are your other choices as well, okay? So make sure that you're taking advantage of Silhouette Studio, whether you have a Silhouette machine or not. Silhouette Studio can be used with all different um, cutting machines. And even if you don't have a cutting machine, if you wanna use it for graphic design, it is a free software to use and you'll be able to use it for mock-ups completely free if you are going to do the screen grab method. It is a one-time fee of about $65. You can get that from Swing Design, the business edition upgrade, um, if you wanna be able to export as um, all of those other file types. All right, so that's about it from me and how to make um, mock-ups in Silhouette Studio. I'm gonna